Welcome to Cooking with Clarity. And so today, our menu is Program Management Made Easy. My name is Brian Nathanson, and I am the host of today's session. I'm joined by Kurt Steinle, our Head of Product Management. We're going to be going through Program Management in Clarity. But first, let's introduce the Cooking with Clarity series, for those of you who aren't familiar with that. One of the things that we've found with Clarity over time is that it's a very capable system, comprehensive in its functionality, but it can be really confusing or overwhelming to configure. And the configuration, your ability to configure it, benefits from experience. And so this series aims to provide a shortcut, if you will, to that experience. The goal is to provide ideas to extract additional value from your Clarity investment, as well as step-by-step -step instructions for how to configure Clarity for the common use cases or the use cases that we'll go over with you. And the whole point of the series is to enable your creativity as a Clarity administrator or champion within your organization because you have a really powerful platform available for you for solving business problems and we're trying to help you find new and different ways to take advantage of that. Hey, so there are two phases to each Cooking with Clarity session. The first is the finished dish presentation that will be handled by Chef Kurt who's going to walk us through these various pieces and then I will be providing the comprehensive step-by-step -step recipe for how to make each dish. Okay. Uh, we are talking in this case about managing a cloud transformation program. And Kurt, why don't you go ahead and let us know what it is that we'll be walking through when we turn it over to you for the various recipes. This is a, a enterprise a transformation program. We're actually moving a series of applications from a data center to the cloud. And so it involves uh, a number of different, we'll call them work streams uh, on the left is maybe our IT organization. They're using classic uh, project management, <clears throat> and this is the little lift and shift group. In the center here, we've got engineering who may need to harden the applications, uh, SSO or some sort of, uh, you know, automation capabilities, <clears throat> because we're selecting among, you know, several cloud vendors, procurement, legal, are involved in it as well as uh, e-learning and, and folks like that for the, all the change management. And then information security is over on the far right because uh, we need to get all the compliance reporting in place uh, to make that uh, to make this thing uh, effective. So we've got a large organization of people across many different disciplines that are working on this. And, and one of the challenges that we have is IT is using traditional task management. So that's you know classic Clarity project management. Engineering may be using. Rally procurement is is using maybe Oracle or some other uh, ERP type system. Uh, security is off in Jira land, so they're using another tool and maybe our learning and training group are really on Excel spreadsheets. So basically these teams are naturally using a whole series of different tooling. And the question is, how do you make sense of all this without disrupting the entire organization and making them uh, learn a different tool just so that you can manage uh, the activities in the program. And so that's what we're going to do now. So I'll go ahead and introduce the menu here. So we're going to go ahead and do this in four courses. The first course is getting the layer cake right, which is defining and using work streams and hierarchies in the solution. The second course is how we work together, which is engaging team members. Third course for show me the money, which is financial tracking and control for the program. And then finally, the fourth course of business conversation, how you would communicate to leadership using the available functionality in the solution for being able to do that. 